Maria Del Rosio Alfaro, was born on October 12, 1971. Alfaro was raised in the barrio in Anaheim, California, near Disneyland. She became a drug addict at 13, a prostitute at 14, and a single mom at 15, and mother to four children at 18. Eventually, she became a murderer at 18 and the first woman in Orange County, California to get the death penalty at 20. Alfaro, who is 18 years old, pregnant, and high on cocaine and heroin, needed another fix, burgled the Wallace home, ultimately to garner cash to enable her to purchase drugs. When Alfaro originally planned to approach the Wallace home, she did not expect to find anyone home. When she found Autumn at home, she then realized she would have to kill her because she would know who committed the burglary. On June 15, 1990, Autumn Wallace, aged 9, was home alone in Anaheim, California. She was waiting for her older sister and mother to return home from work. Rosie Alfaro was high on cocaine and heroin and needed a fix. She knew the Wallace family and was friendly with one of the older daughters. She thought they were out and that she would be able to steal items from the home to sell so she could get her fix. Alfaro was a high school friend of Autumn's older sister who talked the little girl who was home alone into opening her door. Autumn opened the door for Alfaro, her sister's friend who asked to use the restroom. She took a knife from the kitchen before proceeding to the restroom, located at the back of the house. She then coaxed Autumn into the restroom on a ruse, and stabbed her over 50 times. Alfaro then ransacked the house for anything she could steal, ultimately to acquire drug money. The stolen property was later sold for less than $300. Alfaro confessed to the crime during a police-taped interview, stating she was high on heroin and cocaine when she stabbed Autumn. Later she changed her story and alleged an unidentified man forced her to stab the little girl. Still later Alfaro told police that two men drove her to the Wallace home, and one of the men came into the house and forced her to kill Autumn. She refused to identify the man. The evidence from the crime scene indicated that only members of the Wallace family and Alfaro were present in the home that day. She was tried and convicted of first-degree murder with special circumstances. At the end of the penalty phase of the trial, the jury deadlocked 10 to 2 on a sentence of death. The penalty phase of the trial was then declared a mistrial. A second jury unanimously voted to recommend the death penalty. The trial judge upheld the jury's recommendation and sentenced Alfaro to death. In August 2007, the California Supreme Court voted unanimously to uphold Alfaro's death sentence. Thank you for watching.